Hello guys, Ekta here. Welcome to Shipping Triangles. So this is what the module will look like. It will look similar to the regular Ipping Triangle modules. However, the triangle is going to be flashing, like this. There should be green, red and blue. The aim of the module is going to be to figure out which three of the triangles are flashing the same letter. So let's get started. I've only loaded up one currently because this either takes a long time or is really quick, so I don't know what I'm going to end up getting on this one. So let's just start from the top. This is going to be a dot. Like, dot for E. But it could also be Braille, to be honest. I'm going to leave that one until the end. It's sometimes difficult to discern between different encodings. So if you get something that doesn't have and have three matching letters. Try and figure out what a different one could be. Okay, so this one's flashing six six. Which it doesn't say here, but if I remember correctly, 6-6 six, six is used to show K in the other modules. So I'll just note that one as K. And, uh, at least we now have one potential letter. Okay, this bold middle one seems to was definitely be Braille. And you basically have to consider anything and it being shifted up and down some, somewhat. But this looks like it's one, it's going to be one, two, three, blank, one, blank. Which we are. So let's hypothesize that this one is going to be R for now. Okay, this one's definitely tap code. One, two, three, four. One, two. That's also R. This is looking promising. If we get another R, we might have our solution. Um, this red and blue one are actually flashing exactly the same thing. So this is also R. So we might have found our solution. Let's just make sure there isn't any other potential R's here. That seems like Braille, but we know that's not R. Dash dash dot dot, that looked like. Which would be Z. That looks like Braille again. Maybe. Is that one that's just the bottom, bottom corner? If not, this one could be
Oh, this one even. Yeah. The Fire ones are definitely the hardest ones to read. This might be an F. So I'm somewhat confident now. It might be the bomb three, let's see. It was. So, didn't take me as long as I thought it would. So, let's do another example. Actually, why did I close those? <laughs> Unfortunately, this module does require a little bit of guess and check. But hopefully, you can get so hopefully you can get some obvious cases like I did, where two of the triangles end up flashing exactly the same thing. Well. Um, these bottom two are flashing the same thing. <laughs> and it looks like Braille. So that could be one, be one, two. That could be possibly B. Let's see if we can find another V then. So the Morse code we're looking for dot 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 dash. Doesn't seem to be any of those that are like that. The tab code would be five one. One, two, three, four, five, one. So we might have a solution here again. Let's see. We have another sub module. So there is sort of an element of luck to this, of getting ones that are displaying the same thing, because since it shows three of the same letter, but you can, it's only choosing between, between of course, Morse code, tap code, and Braille, that there is a good chance that two of them might end up showing the same thing. And only that gives you a pretty good help to trying to figure out why the other one is, especially if it ends up being encoded in Braille, because then, if it theoretically could be Braille and the other ones can't be the same letter, you know it's that one. Anyway, hopefully shipping triangles. First of all, like the other triangles ones, as soon as you pressed one, it turns off even if it was invalid, so be careful. Anyway, hopefully you understand how shipping triangles works now, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. I'll see you later.